Brighton Madadi is halfway through a two-year sentence for housebreaking. He'll be lucky to leave prison alive. His 28-year-old body has all but withered away, ravaged by tuberculosis. Fellow inmates help him wash. Brighton's stomach can't hold what little food there is, and there's no medication. This is a normal day in Zimbabwe's hellish prison system. Brighton's lost control of his bodily functions, says this cellmate. He just soils himself even when he's awake, he says. This footage was secretly recorded at a prison in Bightbridge, just over the border from South Africa. Zimbabwe's economic collapse has left the prison service at the bottom of a very long list of priorities for the new power-sharing government. The conditions of the prisons of Zimbabwe are, are, are dire. We have a desperate situation which is characterized even by deaths due to malnutrition and complications also arising from malnutrition mainly. Um, the Zimbabwe Prison Service is not presently in a capacity to, uh, to meet the needs of, uh, of the prisoners that are kept by the service. There's almost nothing for prisoners to eat. Occasionally there might be some meat, but normally it's maize meal with no nutritional value. Inmates survive on food brought in by relatives. There are 55 jails in Zimbabwe. The country's prisoner rehabilitation charity says that behind those walls, 20 inmates a day are dying. The deputy agriculture minister designate spent a month in jail on sabotage charges before being bailed last month. Roy Bennett describes his experience as harrowing. Well, those pictures you saw are very real. If not, um, they rather con conservative pictures. The conditions in the prison I was in Matari, there are far worse images than that. There are images of people in what used to be called uh, penal blocks where if you misbehave within the prison system you are put into that block as an individual. Um, there are five people in those, in those and you, at, any, any, at any one stage there's at least one person there who's, who's unable to, to move around, who's on a drip during the day, the drip's taken off at night because of the lockup, and basically are dying. In a dank corner of Bightbridge Prison, Brian Gumbo's malnourished body shivers underneath a lice-ridden blanket. He's 26 years old and needs medication for his TB. But there's nothing. He's got 12 months of his sentence left to serve. But no one is sure how long he's got left to live. In Zimbabwe's prisons, any jail sentence can become a death sentence. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.